Andy Johnson, Minnesota State University. We are looking at six short video lectures on Maria Montessori. And you cannot really understand Montessori and her methods unless you understand her underlying view of reality, her sense of spirituality, which guides all that she is. She is much more than a set of uh, techniques. It's important to know when she lived, the time period, 1870 to 1952, she was trained as a physician, a doctor in Italy. She thought that children grow from the inside out, whereas Piaget uh, stressed the cognitive development, Montessori stresses the spiritual development. She stresses that children need to learn of their own accord, and you'll see that theme come up many times, meaning that there's this natural inner guidance, and children need to listen to this inner voice. There's this natural desire to learn. If we can align our curriculum and our teaching with this natural desire, we will have authentic learning, and actually this will create a natural desire to want to learn. She emphasized that there is an inner knowing force that prompts children to have certain experiences at certain times. If they're able to listen within, they work with great enthusiasm when they have these experiences. Adults need to respect children's responses and natural development. Um, so, part number four, external inducements make the child dependent on approval. That is both rewards and punishments, grades and prizes. This keeps the child from finding his or her bliss or passion, from following his or her own path. We need instead to find activities that are intrinsically meaningful to children. Educators must follow the child, not decide what the child needs. We grow children in a garden. Children need make-believe and play for young children. That's how they learn. That's how they come to know the world. In the primary grades, play, imagination, that is how they come to know the world. And they are primarily emotional beings at this early primary age levels. In the intermediate, they need experimental and exploration. And in middle school, they need social experiences, etc., etc. And we'll look more at that a little bit later. As parents and as teachers, we are teaching the child, not the curriculum. We must create the conditions for children to learn. We must give them a chance to learn on their own instead of always interrupting. We have to tailor education to the natural development of the child. Find tasks that enable them to develop their natural curiosity and capacities. When they do this, children don't have five-minute focus uh, attention spans. They are fully immersed and fully engaged. Next, we'll look at nurturing the spiritual embryo.